The Selfish Path to Romance. Download Chapter 1 for free at drkenner.com and at amazon.com. This is on electroshock therapy for depression. I wanted Dr. Kenner's opinion about electroshock therapy for depression, what her opinion is. Okay, when I say I'm not an expert, I don't do uh, the electric shock therapy. I have been in, I worked in a psychiatric hospital where it was done, I wouldn't say frequently, but it was done weekly. And I guess that's frequently to different people, obviously. And I saw the results of it. I saw the people before and after. And I will tell you, their brains looked fried. It looked like they, that it, they didn't have the same emotional capacity before and after. They had a lot of amnesia. Now, a little later on, that can change for some individuals. But you're playing with your brain. Your brain is your motor for life. So I would say that electric shock therapy, um, electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, is a very, very last resort. If somebody has been chronically suicidal for decades and they're hell-bent on doing it and they, they or they're emotionally dead, then you want to be able to um, try to still rescue them. And I know people are desperate, and sometimes sometimes it can shake someone out of a depression. Um, but there's so many better methods, and the better methods are, one of them is cognitive behavioral therapy, which is not just, oh, talking on the surface about things, which sometimes it's falsely portrayed as, but you try to help people reconnect with their their desire to live. Uh, they may have total, one of the, I've worked with several people, one of the things that I saw in the, with these people who were chronically suicidal or chronically emotionally dead, some of them had... Hey, I got to interrupt this because we've got to pay some bills. 30 seconds, that's it. A very quick ad and then Alan will be back. Romance. Oh, I wish guys knew more about what we want from a relationship. Boy, I wish I knew more about what I want. Where's that ad I saw? Ah, uh, here it is. The Selfish Path to Romance. A serious romance guidebook. Download Chapter 1 for free at SelfishRomance.com and buy it at Amazon.com. Hmm. The Selfish Path to Romance. That is interesting. I've worked with several people. One of the things that I saw in the, with these people who were chronically suicidal or chronically emotionally dead, some of them had totally flat affect, big word for it, no emotions. You know, you could you could dance in front of them. You could do a strip tease in front of them. You could sing. You could get angry with them, and they just don't care. They're totally indifferent to life, and they've deadened their emotions. Total repression. So you think. But I can remember talking with these individuals and saying, tell me, tell me a little bit about your past. Tell me when, when, when was your best time? And they start talking about work or the, and the emotions start to come back and they get angry at me because I've re re reawakened their capacity to live their emotional life. Um, but they're also, they have a running chance again. Now, that's a dangerous period of time because they also have more energy to act on their suicidal ideation. So you have to monitor that period carefully and help them through it. But people have even sent me flowers saying, you know, I was going to kill myself and I didn't. And thank you so much for saving me. So you want to be able to be so, you don't want to rush into EC. T, I say it's absolutely, absolutely last resort. Absolutely try cognitive behavioral therapy first. A really good organized cognitive behavioral therapy who can help the person make sense of what emotions are, where they come from, how to um, introspect, how to get rid, identify any unearned guilt in their life and get rid of it, how to deal with earned guilt, how to set realistic goals and move forward in their lives. For more Dr. Kenner podcast, go to drkenner.com and please listen to this ad. Here's an excerpt from The Selfish Path to Romance, the serious romance guidebook by clinical psychologist Dr. Ellen Kenner and co-author Dr. Edwin Locke, who's world famous for his theories in goal setting. 
A few fortunate individuals have a first impression of a partner that turns out to be accurate. They are a perfect match, but even these individuals should not commit to a permanent attachment on the spot. Attraction at first sight is fine, but nothing can replace the need to gain more knowledge about your potential partner. What people call love at first sight is often the result of infatuation. Infatuation refers to a strong, immediate emotional attraction based on a small number of qualities, sometimes only one, such as looks. You can download Chapter 1 for free by going to drkenner.com and you can buy The Selfish Path to Romance at amazon.com.